the hydroponic systems that we built actually run off of two liter bottles. You take the PVC pipe and you run it so that you've got a good flow going everywhere. Now these are spaced differently, some plants 12, some 16, some 24 inches apart. Just have a T-section coming up with a little piece of PVC and pop a two liter bottle on it. I hate to say it, you know, not plugging any names or anything, but we use Pepsi bottles because of the fact that they fit that half inch PVC perfectly. We don't need to even apply any glue to them. We can actually plug the plant in and before they get too big, we can find out which plant we like the most and move it to that location. So. It, the whole thing's full of the PVC. The PVC is hooked up through a line that comes out of our reservoir here. Now the line comes in and it feeds it through here and so it pumps the water up, 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 up. Then we have this runoff. When the water gets this high, it overflows and goes back down. You really want to have a level system if you can because then you, your overflow and everything can be exact. But as you can see here, we've built on bricks, we've built on wood and the system is unlevel in several areas. We've allowed ourselves at least an inch or two in play. The big advantage we had when we switched to cups was that we could, could actually fluctuate our levelness on the system. So this is the hydroponic system we did with the cups. Again, you've got your standard PVC going up, put the bottles in. We also wrapped them in aluminum foil so that it would block out any light. That actually promotes root growth as well as um, prevents or limits the amount of algae you have growing. Because the last thing you want to do is spend money on nutrients and have the algae eat it all. You'd rather have it go to your plants. So the system comes down. When the water gets to this high, which is how high we want it to be on the, the system itself, it overflows and goes back into our main reservoir here. Now if you look at the plants themselves, they hang down into that water. You can see the water goes way up. So it actually exposes a lot more of the roots, allowing them to absorb much more of the nutrient than our original system with the peat pellets where we only had an inch or two total play in the water level. So these can be all over the place, an inch high here, an inch low there, and they still get the same amount.